Chapter 9, Super Fudge Fudge has a friend. His name is Daniel. He's pudgy with lots of red hair and ears that stick out more than mine. The first time I saw him, he was standing in front of Uncle Feather's cage, lecturing to Fudge. Mina birds are native to India and other parts of Asia. The common house mina is a bold, fearless bird, somewhat larger than a robin. Robin! Robin! Uncle Feather repeated. Shut up and listen, Fudge told Uncle Feather. Don't you want to learn about yourself? Daniel continued, the mina is a noisy, sociable bird. I'll say, I said from the doorway where I'd been listening. Daniel turned around and stared at me. Who are you, he asked. Peter, Fudge's older brother, I told him. Who are you? Daniel Mineham. I'm six. I live at 432 Vine Street. You want to make something of it? He delivered the last sentence in a tough guy voice so that it came out sounding like, you want to make something of it? Not especially, I told him, trying not to laugh. Daniel turned back to Uncle Feather. My, many mina birds learn to imitate the human voice. They can talk, sing, and whistle. The common house mina is genius Archithodorus species A. Tristis. Daniel is a bird expert, Fudge said. So I see, I answered. You want to hear about the vulture? Daniel asked. Some other time, I told him. Daniel came for lunch on Saturday. Would you like peanut butter or tuna fish, Mom asked him. Tuna fish, Daniel said. You want to make something of it? No, Mom said, looking surprised at Daniel's tough guy line. Tuna fish will be just fine. Where's the TV, Daniel asked. I always watch TV while I'm eating. It's in the living room, Fudge said. You don't have a TV in the kitchen, Daniel asked. No, Mom said, we don't. I feel sorry for you, Daniel said, pushing back his chair. He stood up. I guess I'll have my lunch in the living room. We don't watch TV while we're eating, Mom said, so why don't you sit down and wait until lunch is ready? Daniel pouted. I won't have much of an appetite without the TV. If you're not hungry, you don't have to eat, Mom said. TV shouldn't have anything to do with it. I was thinking that it wouldn't hurt the kid to skip a couple of meals anyway. I watch Nickelodeon and the Cartoon Network, Fudge asked, said, as if anybody cared, and all the commercials. I never miss the commercials. They're my favorites. My father used to write commercials, but now he's writing a book. One time I was in a commercial, I rode a toddle bike. No, you didn't, Daniel said. I did too, Fudge told him. I don't believe you, Daniel said. Mom brought the tuna fish sandwiches and two glasses of milk to the table. I don't eat anything with onions, Daniel said. I don't eat lima beans or peas. I only drink chocolate milk and cut the crust off my bread. There are no onions, lima beans, or peas in the tuna fish, Mom said. I knew from her voice that she was about ready to tell Daniel exactly what he could do with his lunch if he didn't like it. But she walked back to the pantry and brought out the choco. You can put in as much as you like, she said, as she cut the crust off of Daniel's sandwich. There, now you should be all set. Wasn't I in a commercial, Mommy? Fudge asked.